This is on writing an equation of a line with certain given information. So let's look at the top in the box where it says recall. When an equation is written in the form y equals mx plus b, which we've talked about before, remember that m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept point, which is 0, comma whatever number is in that b spot. So our goal here is to take information and get um, that information into an equation of y equals mx plus b. So let's look at example 1a when you're actually given the slope and given the intercept. This is the easiest um, time that you're going to have for writing an equation. So if I'm given the slope, then I know that that is m. And if I'm given the y-intercept, I know the number part of that is b. So all I have to do is plug that into my equation. y equals the m that you are given times x plus negative 2, which is the same thing as just minus 2. And I have my equation. So it couldn't get any easier than that. Part b, same thing. I have m equals 2, so I, I have the m right there. And then in a different way, it tells me the y-intercept because it says it passes through the point 0, negative 3. Well, because of the 0 in the x spot, I know that this is the b part of the y-intercept. So again, I just plug it in. y equals 2x minus 3, or y equals mx plus b. And I have my equation. Now there's a note here. It says, although most textbooks present a second equation of the line format, which is called the point-slope form, all linear equations can be found using the slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And that's what this lesson is going to do, is to teach you how to use just this form. Let's look at an example two where you're given different information. This time you're given the slope, so we still have that, but instead of the y-intercept, you're given another point on the line. And I'm going to make a note here, it is not the intercept, not the y-intercept point. So the example says write an equation of the line with slope one-third and passing through the point negative two-five. I know this point is not the y-intercept because there's not a zero in the x spot. So what I want you to do, and this is the, the um, kind of the procedure you should do each time with one of these. Go to the margin and we're going to write x equals, y equals, m equals, and b equals. And the two things that you have to have are the m and the b. Once you have those two things, then you can just fit them into the equation like we did in example 1a and b. So let's look at what we're given. We're given an x as negative 2, so I'm going to fill that in. We're given a y which is 5. I'm going to fill that in. We got that from our point. And we're given the slope m, which in this case is 1 third. Now, we're going to use these three pieces, x, y, and m, to solve for the piece we don't have, which is b. So you're going to write y equals mx plus b. Now let's fill in the parts that we know. y, which is 5, equals m which is one-third, times x, which is negative two, I'm going to put it over a one since I'm multiplying fractions, plus the b that I don't know. Five equals negative two-thirds plus b. To solve for b, I add a two-thirds to both sides. That gives me b is equal to five plus two-thirds is five and two-thirds. Now, for slope and for intercept, you typically don't show them as a mixed number, so we want to change this to an improper. 3 fives are 15, 16, 17 thirds. So I now know that b is 17 thirds, and now I'm back to one like um, example 1a and b, where I have the m and I have the b, and those are the two pieces I need. So I'm going to fill it into my generic equation y equals one-third x plus seventeen-thirds. And that is the equation of the line 
that has a slope of one third and passes through that point. So let's do it again. This time we're going to write the equation of a line if you are given two points on that line. So example three says write an equation of the line passing through the points three negative four and negative two negative one. So again go to the margin x, y, m, and b and remember it's the m and the b that you have to have in order to write your equation. Now in this case I have an x and a y here and I have an x and a y here. So I have to decide which point I want to use. I'm going to pick this one for no reason other than the numbers are smaller. It doesn't matter. It will come out the same. So my x is negative 2, my y is negative 1. However, unlike the last problem, example 2, I don't have the slope. I wasn't given the slope. So what we're going to have to do is determine the slope using our slope formula. So there's some work that you have to do up front here. So I labeled my points x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's first find the slope. m equals y2 minus y1, watch your signs, over x2 minus x1. Or slope equals a negative 1 and a positive 4 is a 3. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So my slope is negative three-fifths. And now we're back to one just like example two, where I have to use the x, the y, and the m to solve for the b. So we're going to say y equals mx plus b, or negative one equals m times x plus b. Negative one equals negative times negative six fifths plus b. Now let's move up here because I'm running out of space. Negative 1 equals 6 fifths plus b. We're going to subtract a 6 fifths from both sides and I'm going to get b is equal to negative 1 minus 6 fifths. Now how do you combine that into a fraction? Well I have to find a common denominator which is 5 so it's going to be negative 5 fifths minus 6 fifths because negative 5 fifths is the same as negative 1, so that gives me negative 11 fifths as my b. So negative 11 fifths, and I now can put it all together in a generic equation. y equals the m that I found, negative 3 fifths, times x, plus the b that we found right here, minus 11 fifths. This type is the one that has the most work in it because you weren't given any of the two, you weren't given either of the two pieces that you need, the M or the B. You had to actually calculate them both. So let's make some conclusions here about what we just um, did. And at the top of this page, you'll see it says the slope intercept form of the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. To write the equation of the line, if you are given its slope and y-intercept, you just plug in m and b into y equals mx plus b. Part c, to write the equation of a line, if you're given the slope and a point on the line, meaning not the intercept, but another point, then what you do is you use x, y, and m to calculate b, then plug in the m and the b. Finally, to write the equation of a line, if you're given two points on the line, you first find slope using the two points, which is m, and then, and then I'm just going to write this, you go back to C. You use X, Y, and M to calculate the B, and then you plug in M and B. So each one of these kind of leads back to the one before.